Hello, today we are going to talk to Mr. Bruce Moen, the man who teaches people how to explore other dimensions. Hello, sir. Hello, nice to meet you. And uh, I'm very glad to, to meet you too. So let's start from the beginning. When, when it was the first time that you kind of picked up this topic and you decided to go into it? I was probably five years old when I remember walking around with three questions in my mind. Where was I before I was here? Mm -hmm. uh, what am I supposed to do while I'm here? And where will I go when I leave here? And left those questions alone for many years. Somewhere in my 20s, uh, began to think more about where was I before I was here? and got some answers mm -hmm. in some very strange ways. Uh, I had answers to where I was before I was living in this world. I tried to look then for answers to my next question. What am I supposed to do while I'm here? I was too young to even ask the question. Mm -hmm. So I skipped ahead to somewhere in my late 20s to begin to ask the question, where do I go when I leave here? In the early 1990s, I came across the work of Robert Monroe, a well-known out-of-body traveler, and discovered that he had a program called Lifeline that taught people how to explore these other realities, in mm -hmm. particular, the ones called the afterlife. So okay, I really got started there. When you met this method, Yes, how can I do that before I had the duel? <clears throat> there were things in my life that demonstrated to me that such a place existed. For example, uh, my own grandmother. My grandmother lived in a building with many old people, and old people died. And I remember my mother saying, Grandma had another one of her dreams. Uh, a man down the hall had died. And during the night, my grandmother had awakened and the dead man was standing at the foot of her bed and said, uh, tell my wife that the insurance paper she's looking for are taped to the bottom of the drawer of the desk. Mm -hmm. So the next day, my grandmother went down, knocked on the door and said, your husband showed up and he said the papers were and that's where they were. <laughs> 